Amen. Because it's so wonderful. Yes, and see, we got to understand that truth must come forth. Yes. That we can't be, we cannot be walking in evil or wicked ways and think that we're going to make it into the kingdom. It's not going to happen. Hallelujah. It's only one way. Yes. It's better that feelings get hurt down here and make it into the kingdom than for you to be get that sugar coated word and end up in that burning hell. Hallelujah. And you don't want to end up in that burning hell. I don't I care. Don't. I know I don't. I don't. Tell me the truth. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Hallelujah. I know that I must get rid of my evil and wicked ways. Hallelujah. Yes. I think I think I'll be out where how he used the apostle. I think you out of this country. Y'all may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful day. It's wonderful to the back. I think I think I'll be our way. I'll be our way. We're coming for you, most holy Father, saying thank you for the wonderful word that you've already sent to us. I'll be our way. We thank you for the words to come. We pray that I'll be our way that you would lead us and guide us in all your truth. I'll be our way. We thank you. We thank you, Father, for the shepherds. Pastor, we thank you for her, I'll be our way. We thank you for a mother, I'll be our way. We thank you for that you use her, I'll be our way. We thank you for Hattie being here today, I'll be our way. We thank you for the viewers that will do the, the viewers that will be uh, viewing later, I'll be our way. We just thank you. We thank you, I'll be our way, for giving us the opportunity to learn more of you and draw closer to you, I'll be our way. Oh, you're so wonderful in everything that you do. I'll be our way, we're asking that you would cleanse our minds, our hearts, our souls, and purify us, I'll be our way, to be true children of yours. That we might have the opportunity to make it into your kingdom, I'll be our way. Help us, I'll be our way. Oh, I'll be our way. Help us to shun all sin, all witness, and all evil, I'll be our way. Help us to be a reactive to you, that you are people that you be well pleased with, I'll be our way. We thank you. In the holy name of Yeshua HaMaseya, we do say amen and amen. amen. We thank I'll be our way again for the word, thank him for his love, his mercy, and his grace. We don't deserve it. Don't ever think that we deserve it. But we don't. Hallelujah. We just don't deserve it. No, sir, I don't. When people want to pat themselves on the back and be all of this and all of that. I, I, they, we don't deserve nothing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, I take that back. We do deserve hell because of our wicked ways, because of our sinful ways, our sinful nature. We deserve hell, but because of His mercy, because of Yah's mercy, He don't. He don't want to see none of us go to hell. He wants us all to repent of all our wicked ways, our sins, and make it into the kingdom, spend eternity with Him. But it's our choice where we go. It's our choice. When He allows us to choose of where we want to spend eternity. If we want to spend eternity with him, he stretched out his hands to us and, 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 and carry, wants to carry us into the kingdom. Amen. He wants to live the life for us so that we can make it into the kingdom. Amen. What a wonderful, wonderful world we have. Amen. We're going to Hannah 53 today. And the subject is, Yah shall, excuse me, sinners shall be destroyed. That's it. Sinners shall be destroyed. That's the subject today. Sinners shall be destroyed. Amen. Amen. That's the word. You yeah. just heard that too. Amen. 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 You just heard that. Yeah. And why is this word coming forth like this? Because Yah, the time is getting closer and closer for his return. And he's trying to send out warning after warning. He's telling us not to be foolish, telling us not to be stupid, telling us not to go into that burning hell. Because once you die, you there's no way that you're going to get out of hell. Amen. 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 There is no escape from hell. Amen. 
Amen. There's no escape from that torment. Amen. There's no escape from that fire. Nothing. And you don't want to be in that fire. Amen. I don't. I know I don't want to be in there. And so there's only one way out. And we have to take that escape route right now. That's it. If we don't take that escape route right now, that's what we're going to end up is yes. in that burning hell. That's going to be for eternity. Forever and ever. And you're going to be saying, I could have made it, I didn't have to be here. I did not have to be here. Every tear, well you won't have any tears because the fire be too hot for you to cry. But every pain, every agony, you're going to be crying out, I didn't have to be here. I didn't have to go through this. And I am? Yes. Because what? We were given more. We're being given more. Yeah. Thank you, I'll be our way. Everybody have Enoch uh, 53? Amen. There, my eyes saw a deep valley with open mouths, and all who dwell on the earth and sea and islands shall bring to him gifts and presents and tokens of homage. And the deep valley shall not become full. And their hands commit lawless deeds. And the sinners devour all whom they lawlessly oppress. Yet the sinners shall be destroyed before the face of Yah of hosts. Sinners were thinking they're going to have a way to escape, but he said, no, every last one shall be destroyed. See, people come up there and tell you, well, you know, it don't take all of this, you don't have to live that way. But I'm telling you, it takes all of the word of Yah that we will live a react life. Amen. There's not one word that we cannot, that we can go up there and erase from the mouth of Yah. If He tells us a command or He tells us uh, instruction and we don't obey them, we will end up in that burning hell. It takes all this word. Yes. Yes, it does. We want to get lazy. We want to get slow for this. We want to be sorry when it comes to the word of Yah. It's not going to do us a bit of good. Okay. When judgment time comes and you haven't obeyed the word of Yah and you be doing all that crying and, and talking about you know you're going to go to hell. You see, right. you see, you be smelling the hell fires. You be feeling the heat, and you say, no, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But then it's going to be too late. It will be too late. And I ask, yes. This is the time while we have breath, while the blood is still coursing through our body, that we can go up there and get things right. Yes. That we can become obedient children to Yah. Yes. By living what a react life. Understanding that our ways are wrong. Amen. Our ways will get us into what? Hell. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. We can go there saying, hey, well, I'm, gonna be, I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh, this little bit of sin ain't about nothing. Oh, if I feel this, this, this slice of bread, it ain't about nothing. It's all right. You're justifying sin. You're going against the word of Yah. Amen. You can't steal nothing. Nothing. Amen. We cannot steal not one thing. Oh, it's just a little lie that I spoke. It's, it's not going to hurt nobody. It's just a little lie. There's no such thing as a little lie. A lie is a lie. A lot of people like to say, oh, it's just a little white lie. And no code. And no way no code. A lie is a lie. That's it. That's it. Oh, this fornication, I can't fornicate. Can't commit adultery. Amen. Cannot commit homosexuality. Cannot be a lesbian. Amen. 
Can't be a thief. Can't do. Our lives have to be exemplary or exemplified by the way that we live and react life. Cannot be any deceits in our life. Amen. Our lives have to become what? Open books. Amen. Amen. As an apostle, I must be what? An open book. You're supposed to be able to see the things that I do. Amen. Amen. The things that I do. I'm supposed to be an example to you. You're supposed right. to live a life that is not. That's right. For you be examples to others. Amen. You see me, I see you. Amen. There's nothing hidden. No you know, hidden agenda. No it's got to be open. Amen. Open. Yes. Not closed. Open. Oh, but it's an open, open door. My heart must be open. Open. Right. You must see who I am. That's or right. who we are. That's right. You know, I don't believe, you know, uh, well, how can I be your pastor and you hundreds and hundreds of miles away from me? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. I can't shepherd you that way. No, sir. You, how you gonna be a sheep? In the fold. Maybe. You out there doing all sorts of hell and things. Yes, it's possible that y'all, I know y'all can show you things. You don't have to be right up there next to me. But y'all show us. But you need to see us too. That's right. Amen. That's right. You need to see us. You need to understand what the word is about. How to live the word. It would be what? A living example. And like when we have children and we tell them, we teach them how to wash dishes, we teach them how to count, we're supposed to be there to show them how to do things. That's right. How to bathe themselves, how to cleanse themselves. We're supposed to show them. That's right. We and teach them. We must be an example. When they, how to brush their teeth. Okay, well they brushing on the all outside, then they're getting their teeth and stuff. Well, then you have to show them, no, uh-uh, you got to put the toothpaste, a little bit of toothpaste on the brush, and you got to go up there and you got to brush your teeth. You got to take your time brushing your teeth. You got to show them how to use mouthwash and the peroxide, you know, where your breath won't stink. That's right. You don't want to go before people stinking with stinking breath. No, sir. You don't want to, you don't want to miss your underarm. No, sir. You know, for, you, for your body to be stinking. No, sir. You want to be what cleansed, and people, yes. the children have to be what taught how to cleanse themselves. Yes, right. Amen. And when you potty train them, you have to show them how to how to use stuff, and how to clean themselves. Amen. You know, you don't just go up there and put on your clothes and just run back out there. No, you got to clean yourself. Clean yourself up. And show you how what to wash your hands because you would you get germs, filthiness. They, they have to be taught. Yes, sir. And this is what the instructions of the Torah does. It teaches us the instructions of how to be what? Cleansed, how to be pure, how yes. to be pure, how to be holy. Yes. Now, where it comes from, it don't come to destroy us. Yes, it comes to cleanse us. Yes. It comes to purge us. How to make it into the kingdom. It comes to destroy our sins. Yes, it does. It does come to destroy our sins. Thank you. And it says, and they shall mm -hmm, be banished from the face of the earth, and they shall perish forever and ever. Talking about the sinners, they shall but be banished from the face of the earth, and they shall perish forever and ever. Well, what are they going to perish to? They're going to perish to that what, eternal fire. To be tormented forever and ever. Why? Because in which way they don't want to change. See, that's wicked when we don't want to change. When we want to continue on in lawlessness. When we want to continue on doing that that's evil. See, we all once were sinners, and that's where it's supposed to be. We once were sinners. Not still committing sins, not still committing iniquities. We were once sinners. Yes. Yeah, I once was a whore. I once Man. was a liar. Yes. 
Amen. I once was a thief. But not still. She's not busy say I'm still doing such things. Amen. No. See, the reason I'll give my testimony is for that you will see that you sure Yah cleanse me and purge me and that you also can go up there and be purged That's and clean. That's it. Come on. But what Torah says we're overcome by our what? Testimonies. testimonies. I don't care if you want to hear it or don't want to hear it. That's right. Amen. You don't want to hear it, don't listen. Amen. Nobody making you listen. But we will come. We'll help one to another. Yes. See? You can see, well, oh, Yah cleansed me uh, of my sin. He cleansed me. And then you can sit by and say, well, but my, my sins is not, I didn't do all of this and all, all that. He can cleanse me too. Uh -huh. Sure said, I was the worst. He said, I was the chief of sinners. Now he said, I was the chief of wickedness. He told about his sin. He told about his yes. wickedness. Yes, he did. Oh, don't, don't tell how wicked you were. Don't tell how sinful you were. People don't need to hear that. Yes, they do. Because you don't want to hear it, you feel like nobody else wants to hear it. That's the wickedness. Yes, you don't see, see, people want to go up there and act like, you know, oh, I've been react all my life. I've never done a thing. There is a lot. Amen. I can't say it. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed of the things that I've done. Yes, sir. I show sure like that. I'm ashamed of the wickedness that I have perpetrated. Yes, yes, deliver. Yes, deliver. Show, show shame. I thank you, deliver me. Number three. For I saw all the messengers of punishment abiding and preparing all the instruments of Satan. He said, I saw all the messages of punishment. Huh? Doing that was evil. Doing that was wicked. Huh? And preparing all the instruments of Satan. Everything that Satan wanted to do, saw it. He saw it. And I asked the messenger of peace who went with me for whom are they preparing these instruments? He said, who are they preparing this stuff for? Huh? What's, what are they going to do with these instruments? Huh? What are they going to do with these tubes? What are these objects actually for? What's going to happen? And he said unto me, they prepare these for the sovereigns and the mighty of the earth, that they may be destroyed by them. Okay. Now, these things are going to be what? To destroy those that are walking in evil. Yes. All those that are walking in wickedness. The locusts. That's going to come back and what? Torment people for five months. But they want to die. They can't die. Walk in, walk in wickedness. Walk in evil. Think. You cut your throat, cut your wrist, and you just suddenly bleed in pain and agony, and you want to die, yeah. you can't die. You try to kill yourself, and you can't die. You, you drink acid. You drink poison. And that poison, that acid, goes up and tears out your whole insides. Still. And you're in pain. And you're in agony. Still. And you still can't die. Oh. You take a you take a gun, put it to your head. You shoot it, you pull the trigger, you have half your head falling off on one side, and yet you still can't die. Hey. What a terrible and a 
you get your house catch on fire. You know, you're still uh, uh, stung by these locusts. And you get burned up almost to a Christmas critter. And you still can't die. I ain't in it. Lord have mercy. Can't die. These estimates. It's just one of the instruments. There's more instruments. Yes, it is. But the wicked shall be destroyed. Come on. Because when we think about going against, you ever think about going against the word of God? You thinking about going against, uh, 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 you want to get into sin? You better think about what's going to happen to you. There's a price to pay. And trust me, you shall pay it. You shall pay it. Hallelujah. And after all of this, the righteous and elect one shall cause the house of the congregation to appear. From now on, they shall be no longer hindered in the name of Yahweh of hosts. See, the righteous are not going to no longer be hindered. The, the sinners and the wicked cannot do anything to them. Can't stop them. You can't stop Yeshua Hamas said. He's the elect one. Not going to be able to. Not gonna be. You can try to be a hindrance now to the uh, houses. Of yeah, you have to try to do it and allow all this wickedness in the houses, your evil and wicked ways. You want to allow what you call praise dance, walk around, dance around in the house of Yahweh in nakedness or the clothes so tight that you can see every print in them on the body. Walking around naked. Exposing yourself. Now, the evil shall be destroyed. You won't be able to do these things anymore. And I am. So only the righteous shall be left. Yes. And these mountains shall not stand as the earth before his righteous. And the hill shall be as a fountain of water. And the righteous shall have rest from the oppression of sinners. See, the righteous shall have rest from the sinners. Amen. Because the sinners will be what torment and in torment. Amen. Only the righteous. The righteous is not what we call righteous. It's what Yah says righteousness is. And that we must walk in every way that he has told us to That's walk. It. We got to be obedient to everything that he says. Because if you really want to rebel against this word now, you will not make it into the kingdom. Because there will not be any rebellion in the kingdom of Yah. There won't be any deceit in the kingdom of Yah. There won't be any disobedience in the kingdom of Yah. That's how come. God brings forth the word and he gives us instructions. We're not that we get used to be what? We're learning how to obey him. The instructions is to obey him. Amen. Not to walk in wickedness. If you don't want to obey him now, you can't make it into the kingdom. If you don't want to do as he says right now, you cannot make it into the kingdom. To his holy kingdom. Amen. To the real kingdom. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I know what the word says. I'm just not going to obey it. I heard people say it out of their own mouth. Yes, sir. I know what the word says, but I'm not going to obey it. What kind of fool are you? Uh, if you don't want to obey the Shabbat, then you, you go ahead. You have to pay a cost for that. 
Amen. I don't care how many people you think that you done got delivered, how many people you think you got saved, I don't care if you raise a million dead folks, if you go there and break, break the least of the commandments or the instructions of Yah, then you have broken them all. Amen. See, remember the Shabbat is a commandment, it's a statute. Yes, it is. We must obey all of God's word. Yes. And you say you don't want to obey it? Fine. And you want to justify your sins? Fine. Remember, there's a price to pay. There is a price to pay Amen. for being disobedient to the word of God. I don't know who we are. Amen. You pat yourself on the back and uh, say, oh, I got all these people baptized. I got all these people uh, 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 delivered and saved. If you're not telling the truth, you have not got them delivered, nor have you gotten them saved. And even if they were saved and they were delivered, you didn't do it. God did. God, God did it. Amen. God, God did it. Hallelujah. Because if we just and uh, uh, messengers of truth. We're supposed to be messengers of truth when we're saying that we're men and women of Yah. Amen. We're messengers of the truth. That's it. There's nothing that we can do on our own. Nothing. Thank you. 54. And I looked and turned to another part of the earth and saw there a deep valley with burning fire. You know, what's this fire, this burning valley, deep valley with burning fire? What's that? Huh? And he brought the sovereigns and the mighty and began to cast them into this deep valley. Oh, Lord, you talking about what they brought the mighty, the sovereign, the kings and the queens, the presidents, Amen. the leaders. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. It's supposed to be the leaders of God's people saying that they were Riyadh but wouldn't obey the word of God. You tell me they brought all these people into this deep and they cast them into this deep valley burning fire? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, sir. And there my eyes saw how they made these their instruments for chains of what? Immeasurable weight. Immeasurable weight. And I asked the messenger of peace, who went with me, saying, For whom are these chains being prepared? And he said unto me, These are preparing for the host of Azazel. That's what the demon, huh? that fallen angel, the one that deceived well, had a third of the angels follow him. Mm -hmm. Who is this Azdel? Well, oh. as I was talking with Yah, and I was asking him questions, and he showed me something. And he says, Norman, I showed you about Satan. He was an etymologist. Well, he is an etymologist. And an etymologist is one that is very knowledgeable with words. See, they're persuasive with words. Very persuasive with words. 
Satan deceived Eve and Adam. Yes, he did. With the word. Change the word. So he had a word, one little word, because he was so knowledgeable what he said, I could just add one word right, and make it still sound as though it come from Yah. Come on. He told him, you shall not die. Mm -hmm. Surely you shall not die in that day. You shall not, the only thing he said, not. He just added that word, not. Because y'all said in that day, you shall die. Uh -huh. Amen. And as they said, you shall not, not. Yeah. deceive, yeah. lie. That's why y'all hate the liar now. Amen. To find light detestable. Yes. Because, see, Azazel. Is the father lies. of lies. Amen. The devil, Satan, is the father of lies. Amen. You can't have Satan and have Yah too. No, sir. They can't dwell together. No, no. You can have one or the other. How no. come we cannot be participators? In the lie. Or with lies. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you. He says, And he said unto me, These are being prepared for the host of Azazel, so that they may take them and cast them into the abyss a complete what? Condemnation. <clears throat> Condemnation. Destruction. You have been charged with doing evil. Mm -hmm. You have been charged with being wicked. In other words, you have been damned. Thank you, I'll be our way. And they shall cover, <coughs> excuse me, and they shall cover their jaws with rough stone as Yahweh of hosts commanded. And Miguel, and Gabriel, and Raphael, and Fenua shall take hold of them on that great day and cast them on that day into the burning furnace that Yahweh of hosts may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness and becoming subject to Satan and leading astray those who dwell on the earth. See there's a price that's going to be paid. And you, uh, you want to follow Satan? You want to be, you want to do that as evil? You want to go against the word of Yah? Then there's a price to pay. Amen. You can do it. But you're going to pay the price. Yes. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Disobedience to the word of Yah is sin. Amen. I don't care how you want to try to put it, how you want to try to shape it up. It is sin, it is a wickedness. Yes, it is. And you shall pay the price. Amen. Amen. Every sin, everything yes. that Yah calls a sin, it is sin. It is sin. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. You want to think that you're all right with the lie that December 25th mm -hmm. is the birthday of Yeshua HaMaseya? You are a liar. Amen. You are with Satan. Amen. You come from Satan. Amen. And Satan is your father. Amen. And if you think that you can mix 
Our Lord. Are you sure? How to say it? With a lie. I think that it's all right that you think that you're doing homage, that you're giving praise unto Yeshua HaMaseya with a lie. You are greatly mistaken. mistaken. Amen. Amen. And you shall pay for that sin. Yes. <coughs> I'm not, I, don't, I don't participate <coughs> in no form of fashion with that thing that they call Christmas. That evil and wicked. <coughs> People won't go up there and say, Well, I don't think I did. I told my wife, I said, You still celebrate Christmas. Amen. Well, I just give a present here and there. You still celebrating Christmas. I don't give a present. I don't cook. I know. Uh, yeah, you can cook it. I'm going to say, I'm going further on. No, I know you won't get no, no present. I know you didn't have no tree up. But you were cooking. Amen. And I said, that's celebrating. We can't we can't participate in it. Amen. Now and call ourselves Riyadh. Amen. Can't 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 cook nothing and send it away, hey, you had this. No, uh-uh. Have a normal dinner. I don't say don't eat now. Don't go up there and say you can't cook it. Don't eat, but you can't cook it for the demon. You cannot cook nothing for the demon. You cannot participate with the demon. Unless you want to find yourself in that lake of fire. Amen. If people get mad at us because they had that habit trying to call on December 25th. Merry Christmas, Merry No, ain't nothing merry about it. Ain't nothing merry about it. What's merry about going to hell? What's merry about a lie? Nothing. Hey man, come on. Huh? All I'm gonna say around that time of season, going to these stores, everybody talking about Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Smile. After Christmas, nobody smile. A lot. <laughs> and in those days, number seven, punishment shall come from Yahweh of hosts, and he will open all the chambers of waters which are above the Shemlim and of the fountains which are beneath the earth. And all the waters shall be joined with the waters that which in is above the Shemin is the masculine and the waters which is beneath the earth is the feminine and they shall destroy all who dwell on the earth and those who dwell under the ends of the Shemin and they shall have recognized their unrighteousness which they have what wrought on the earth and by these shall they perish that was what about the flood. Amen. The flood in those days. That came to pass. We know this came to pass. Try to give people another opportunity. Repulse. But what happened? They began to turn again to the evil and to the wicked. Now uh, people think that, well, how can you think that you, God won't destroy again? Huh? How, how can you come to the conclusion that he won't destroy no more for evil and wickedness? He showed us. Yes, he did. He told us. Yes. And yet people still want to turn to evil and want to turn to wickedness. Still don't want to obey. After having an example, God proved His power. And people say, "No, uh, uh, He's not gonna do it. He's God of love." See, that's their God. It's not Yah.
55. And after that, the head of days repented and said, In vain have I destroyed all who dwell on the earth. And he swore by his great name, From now on, I will not do so to all who dwell on the earth. And I will place a sign in the Shamalim. And this shall be a pledge of good trust between me and them forever. So long as the Shamalim is above the earth, and this in accordance with my command, when I have desired to take hold of them by the hand of the messengers, on that day, on the day of tribulation and pain because of this, I will cause my chastisement and my wrath to abide upon them, says Elohim, Yahweh of hosts. You mighty sovereigns who dwell on the earth, you shall have to look upon my elect one. And now he sits on the throne of esteem and judges Azazel and all his associates and all his hosts in the name of Yahweh of hosts. This is the promise that was made about the rainbow while we see the rainbow in the sky. Well, God said, I'm not going to destroy it no longer by water. And he says, let my righteous one, my elect one, Yeshua Hama says, he sit on the right side, and he said, what? He said, judge who? Azazel, that is Satan. What? And what, what? With what? All his association, all that associate with him, all that participate with Satan, they shall judge, be judged. By whom? Yeshua Hama said. And he does it in the name of who? Yah. 56. And I saw there the host of the messengers of punishment going. And they held scourges and chains of iron and bronze. And I asked the messengers of peace who went with me, saying, To whom are going to hold the scourges going? And he said unto me, To the elect and beloved ones, that they may be cast into the chasm of the abyss of the valley. And when the valley shall be filled with their elect and beloved, and the days of their life shall be at an end, and the days of their leading astray shall not be reckoned thereafter. And in those days the messenger shall return and hurl themselves to the east upon the Partisans and Megadites, east, excuse me, and Megadites, they shall stir up what the sovereign, so that a spirit of unrest shall come upon them, and they shall rouse them from their thrones, that they may what break forth as lions among their lairs, and as hungry wolves among their flocks. And they shall go up and tread underfoot the land of his elect ones. See, that's where what we that are walking in the way of holiness and righteousness is going to come under what a great attack. Uh -huh. You know, for what standing on the word. Yes. For being a real people, for choosing the side of Yah. The trouble going to come. But we shall what? Overcome. Hallelujah. Yah shall overcome. But see, we have to make a what well, a stand. See, people want to go up there and preach peaches and cream, peaches and cream that you already gonna be. People want to think that oh, wow, in the great tribulation that hey, we all gonna go up and be risen up in the sky, 
And you're not going to go through anything. Not so. You're going to go through something. You have to have a mind that you're going to stand on the word of God. You have to have a mind that says, hey, I'm going to live with God all the days. So it's a must that we live with God. A must. I don't know about anybody else. I know I must live with God. I must be holy. I must be what righteous. Thank you, Abiel. And they shall go up and tread underfoot the lands of the elect ones. But the city of my righteous shall be a hindrance to their horses. And they shall begin to fight among themselves. And their right hand shall be strong against themselves. And a man shall not know his brother, nor his son, his father, or his mother. Till there be no number of the courses through their slaughter, and their punishment be not in vain. See, that's going to be a shame. You're not going to know who your mother or father is. you fighting. You don't care? You're just killing and slaughtering, slaughtering one another? Because your mind is gone? The wicked, your wicked ways are turned against you? Your own sisters and your own brothers are not going to know one another? It's going to be a great madness upon this earth? In those days, the grave shall open its jaw, and they shall be swallowed up therein, and the destruction shall be at an end. The grave shall devour the sinners in the presence of the elect. Grave is going to open up and just snatch it. He said, Well, who's going to see this? The elect, the chosen ones. The chosen ones. So we need to be thanking God that He's going to shorten the days. Because, see, if God didn't shorten the days, what He said, none could be saved. We would, we would be in this predicament ourselves as being elect ones. We'll be driven mad and start sinning and we'll fall under this persecution, Man. this destruction. But thanks to Yah, He's going to shorten the days for, for His elect. Yes, sir. 57. And it came to be after this that I saw another host of chariots and men riding upon them and coming on the winds from the east and from the west to the south. And the noise of their chariots was heard. And when this turmoil took place, the custody of the Holy One from the shaman observed it. And the pillars of the earth were moved from their place. And the sound thereof was heard from the one end of the shaman to the other in one day. And they shall all fall down and worship Yahweh of hosts. And this is the end of the second period. Everybody going to fall down and worship who? Got to worship Yah. Amen. And I began to speak the third parable.
concerning the righteous and elect. Baruch are you, you righteous and elect. For magnificent shall be your lot. Baruch means blessed. You were blessed. I don't know about anybody. I want to be blessed by y'all. And I am. Now come on. I want to strive to do everything that I can properly do for y'all. Yes. I want to be a peace investment to y'all. Yes. I want him to look down on, him on me with favor. I'll, how can he look down on me with favor and I don't want to do anything for him? How's he going to favor me? He's not going to favor me by, oh, uh, I don't want to do nothing for you. Just, just barack me. Just bless me. But I don't want to do nothing for you. He says, And the righteous shall be in the light of the sun, and the elect in the light of eternal high. Eternal life. I want to be bathed in that sun. I want to be bathed in light. Yes. Eternal life. Yeah. And notice what he said. Everybody understand that word magnificent? Uh -huh. Yeah. Number two, Barak are you, you righteous and elect. For magnificent shall be your life. That is it, 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 it's better than great. It's so wonderful. It's so huge. It is so awestruck, so beautiful. Amen. Glory. That he wants to bless what his people with. He says, the days of the high shall be what? Unending. And the days of the cold ass without number. Unending. The day shall be unending. Can't count the days of the Holy Ones. You saying for eternity, forever and ever. Yes. I want to bless you. I want to be real. For being obedient, for trusting. And we know what's going to happen if we fall the evil ones. If you want to, will you really think about being evil? Knowing what's going to be you? Knowing the torment and the pain that you got to suffer. And here he goes and says, for my neck, for my chosen one, for my the ones that are reacted, that are holy, he said, I'm gonna bless you magnificently, and you don't wanna choose that. You don't wanna do that that is righteous, you don't wanna do that that is holy. Is there not something wrong with the thought process? That you choose the pain, that you choose to burn, Because it's a choice. Yes, it is. It's a choice. Yes. What? Think that fornication, having sex is worth going to that burning fire for? Huh? Something think it's that good to you that you'd rather burn forever? No, no.
And the secret is something that's so great that I gotta spill it and go to the burning hell. Is something worth it? No. You know, there's nothing in this earth. Nothing, nowhere worth going to that bird. Not in my eyes, I can't see it. In my head. Nothing. Uh-uh. No children, no money, no wealth, no materialistic thing that I want to go to hell for. Nothing. Hallelujah. Lord. Number four, and they shall seek the light and find righteousness with Yahweh of hosts. There shall be peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal master. There shall be peace to the righteous. There's no peace like the peace of our Yahweh. No peace like God. And he wants to give that peace. Even the Shul Hamas said, said the, world, the peace like the world, I'm not giving you that, I'm giving you peace of the Holy One. Thank you. And after this, it shall be said to the Kodesh, and the Shamanim, that they should seek out the secrets of the righteousness, the secrets of righteousness, the heritage of belief, who has become bright as the sun upon earth, and the darkness is past. We're just telling them to do, seek out righteousness. Seek out, seek, doing it that is react holy. Don't be making excuses. Oh, what I'm gonna do with the word? We better seek the word and, and find ourselves doing it. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to be on that search. Because it's our soul that's at stake. Yes, it is. What we're gonna spend in eternity is at stake. Yes, it is. We can get lazy on it if we want to. Not seek it, not, not, not strive to make it into the kingdom. Guess what? If you strive not to make it into the kingdom, you're not going to make it. Can't nobody carry us into the kingdom except Yah, except you should, if we're not seeking Him. Amen. You're not going to make it. There's a work to be done. There's a work. He says, And there shall be a light that never ends, and to a number of days they shall not come. For the darkness shall first have been destroyed, and the light of uprightness established forever before Yahweh of hosts. This is the kind of glory of Yahweh shall be what? Established forever and ever. Darkness, in other words, sin, wickedness, evil, shall be what? Destroyed. There's not going to be any unrighteousness in the kingdom of God. Number 59. In those days, my eyes saw the secret of the lightning and other lights and the right rulings they execute. And they lighten for a baraka, for a blessing or a curse. 
as Yahweh of hosts desires. See, it can be either what a blessing or a curse. Amen. What we ask for, it shall be given. If we seek righteousness, if we seek being the eye, then what are we asking for? We're asking for we, to be barak. We're asking for a blessing. But if we want to disobey the word, then we're asking for a curse. We're asking for a curse. He says, and then I saw the secrets of the thunder, and how when it resounds above in the shamanim, the sound thereof is heard, and he causes, and he caused me to see the right ruling executed on the earth, because they be for well-being and barak, but for a curse according to the word of Yahweh of hosts. And after that, all the secrets of light, of the lights and lightning were shown to me, and they lightened for Baraka and for what? Satisfied. Satisfied. Be satisfied. Amen. A fragment of the book of Noah, number 60. Part of the book of Noah, but it's a fragment of the book of Noah. You must have figured that Noah wrote something, had something to say after the flood, and just before the flood. He says, In the year 500, in the seventh month, on the fourteenth day of the month, in the life of Hannah, in that parable one, I saw how a mighty quaking made the Shamanim of Shamanim to quake, and the host of the Most High, and the messengers, a thousand thousand and ten thousand times ten thousand, were disturbed with a great unrest. Millions, millions. And the head of days sat on the throne of his esteem. And the messengers and the righteous stood around him. And a great trembling seized me. And fear took hold of me. And my loins gave away, and my kidneys melted, and I fell upon my face. And his kidneys melted. Fair in other words, he about peed on himself. In my head. Out of fear. Out of fear. Out of trembling. Yes. Now this is a righteous man. Yes. He says, and Mikael, which you, you, we heard of that, Mikael is Michael. Michael. Okay, we want to make sure we're on the same page. And Mikael sent another messenger from among the Kodashim, among the righteous, the holy ones, yes. And he raised me up. And when he raised me up, my spirit returned. For I had not been able to endure the look of this host. He, couldn't, he said, I, I couldn't stand the look. I couldn't stand the look upon him. I was so fearful. See? He was in the presence of a mighty one. Awesome. He says, And the commotion and the quaking of the Simeon 
Shemne Shemim. And Mikael said unto me, Why are you disturbed with such a vision? He said, Well, why are you disturbed? Huh? Why are you upset because you're seeing this thing? I know. Well, sometimes we have visions. And because they come so real. They, 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 they make frightening. I remember having such a vision at one time of frightening. I have never been the same since then. You know, I have not been able to get back in that place because I said, Lord, cause I told, I told, I told Rabbi Yahweh, I said, Lord, you, 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 uh, you I, I, I will do what you say. You don't have to show me these things. You know, because it frightened me so much. I should never have said that. No. Thank you, Lord. And Mikael sent another messenger among the Kashim, and he raised me up. And when he had raised me up, my right, my spirit returned. I had not been able to endure the look of this host. And the commotion and the quaking of the Shemim, and Mikael said unto me, Why are you disturbed with such a vision? Until this day lasted the day of his compassion. And he has shown favor and patience toward those who dwell on the earth. It's through God, it's through Yah's patience yes. that we're here on this earth. Hallelujah. He's having patience with us right now. Yes, he is. To get it right with him. Amen. To obey him, to walk with him. He's having patience with us. It's part of his mercy and his grace. And when the day and the power and the punishment and the judgment come with Yahweh of hosts has prepared for those who do not worship the righteous law and for those who deny the righteous right ruling and for those who take his name in vain that day is prepared for the elect a covenant but for the sinners a judgment. A day has been prepared. There's going to be more destruction, going to be harm and to those that are unrighteous, that the world don't want to obey his right. word. So he go, keeps on going back and, and it keeps on recycling to what? We must obey right. his word. Yes. We must walk in his truth. Hallelujah. If we're preachers, if we're teachers, okay. we must obey and teach and preach as thus says Yah. Yes. But we don't we don't believe in tickling your fancy here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I, like we say again and we say again, people know what's being taught here. Amen. They don't want it. But then there's a price to pay. There's a price to pay. Amen. Destruction. Yes. If we don't obey the word. It goes, destruction goes for apostle, it goes for me. Amen. It goes for anyone that wants to disobey the word. It goes for you if you want to disobey the word. Yes. If you say that you don't want to do the word, Amen. destruction Amen. will come to you. Thank you, Abi Yahweh. He says, number six, when the punishment of Yahweh of hosts shall rest upon them, it shall rest in order that the punishment of Yahweh of hosts may come, may not come in vain. And it shall slay the children with their mothers and the children with their fathers 
Afterwards, the judgment shall take place according to his compassion and his patience. In other words, said, well, hey, the child, your child, your babies will be destroyed along with them. That's how come we must bring up and raise our children up in righteousness, in the word of God. Hallelujah. How come we must well, study this word? Yeah. Live it. Yeah. Oh, see, this is not a joking word. This is not a playtime thing. See, when we come into the house of Yah, we must be already have our minds prepared. Yeah. We must be ready. We start, it starts at the home. That's what comes. We say, have what? Studies. Have Bible studies. Have Torah studies in your home. Study the Word of God. Study the Word of God. And live, we are. Live it. Be a doer of the Word. Amen. Don't just study the Word and put it up on the shelf and think that you're going to take it down later and, and live it. Live it right now. Thank you, I'll be our way. And on that day were two monsters parted. A female monster named Levitian to dwell in the abyss of the oceans over the mount fountains of the water and the male is named Behemoth who occupied with his breast a waste wilderness named Jawadan on the east of the garden where the elect and righteous dwell where my grandfather was taken up the servant from Adam, the first man whom Yah of hosts created. See, he's talking about Hannah, who was what taken up. Yeah. It was translated. See, he didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. I was as I had said, I always want to know how did Enoch? How did Hannah? So please, Ariel. He had led an extraordinary life. Extraordinary life. He didn't want sin. He shunned his sin. Or he didn't want to do all that is righteous, all that was pure, all that was pleasing to you. We need to be doing the same thing. We may not get translated up, but at least we'll be able to make it into the kingdom Amen. by being obedient to the word. Yes. By shunning sin. By shunning wickedness. Hallelujah. By being pleasing vessels unto God. That should be utmost in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. Because if it's not our most, if it's not the number one thing in our lives, if we think there's something more important than pleasing Yah, we're on our way to hell. On our way to hell. Amen. If you think there's something more important than being a pleasing vessel to Yah. That's more important than I please God. Amen. Okay, what's going on in my life? I still want to please God. Hallelujah. Cause I know if I please God, everything will be all right. Yes, 
the lost house, the lost vehicles. It's been all record. We had you out. Amen. Hallelujah. Been mocked. Then people laughing at us. People still laughing. People still mocking. I don't care. Mock, laugh all you want. Amen. That's what they do. And call foolish. And call me stupid. Because I want to obey y'all. It's alright. People can go ahead on and laugh, I don't care. Mm -hmm. People can laugh and make jokes because I wear a yarmulke. It's alright. I want to do everything that's pleasing to y'all. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say, I don't have to do, not do. I, I speak to y'all. You're not my God. That's right. You're yeah. not my y'all. Show what it's not. You don't have a heaven and a hell to put me in. Amen. You can go up there and say that, oh, you don't hear from Yah. Yah not talking to people. He don't talk to people like that no more. Well, I beg you different. He said he was the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I'm God, I change. And I change not. So he talked to people back then. How come he can't talk to us now? You don't want to have ears to hear what he has to say. That's the problem. And because you don't hear it, yes. don't mean I don't hear it. That's right. Yes. You can't tell me what I hear and don't hear. Amen. You don't have that authority. You don't have that power. Show sure up. If you believe that, hey, Y'all don't speak to people these days, then that's your that's your prerogative. That's your belief. That's your, belief. That's your foolishness. That's your stupidity. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, I know what I hear, I know what I don't hear. Thank you. Number nine, and I pleaded with the other messenger that he should show me the might of those monsters, how they were parted on one day and cast the one into the abyss of the sea and the other into the dry land of the wilderness. And he said to me, you son of man, and this do you seek to know what is hidden. And ask some questions. What is your purpose for wanting to know these things? Huh? Why do you want to seek such? You sure wants to know? Y'all wants to know a lot of time. He already knows the answer. But he want to know what we're going to say. Why are we seeking him? Well, I want to know how to please you, God. That's right. Well, I want to be in this favor with you. I want to be disdained. I want to be a bitter or wicked vessel Amen. to you. I don't want you to spill me out of your mouth. And the other messenger who went with me and showed me what was hidden told me what is the first and last in the Shemin, in the heights and beneath the earth, in the depth and at the end of the Shemian, and on the foundation of the Shemian, and the chambers of the wind, and how the winds are divided, and how they are weighted, and the portals of the winds are reckoned, each according to the power of the wind. 
and the power of the light of the moon and according to the power that is fitting and the divisions of the stars according to their names and how all the divisions are divided. That's a lot of information there. Yes, it is. It was showing a lot of things. Yes. And how the earth and how the universe was set up. And what their purposes were. We see the wind coming from the west. We don't we see, we might feel it. But we don't know where it comes from. That's true too. We don't know where it's going. But he was showing these things. He was showing the path and where the winds were and where they were located. And he was showing the powers of the wind. Were being made known. The stars. Their pattern, their purposes, their power. Yes. The moon, its power, its light, its strength. Have you uh, ever watched any of these science programs where it, you know, where the stars they, they 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 say that you know they can hear sounds in the in, in the space? We wouldn't think there'd be no no sounds there. See, that's the stars. And everything has a way of communicating with Yah. See, the stars communicate with Yah. They talk to him. They praise him. They glorify him. The moon communicates. The planets communicate. The sun communicates with God. The trees even here on earth communicate with God. The ants communicate with God. All of creation, all of God's creation communicate with have a possibility. To yes. And guess what? Here's the thing. So think about it. Yah knows the name of every star, all the billions and millions of stars, however many stars are up there. He knows the name of each and every one of them. Every ant, every animal has got a name. He knows the name of all of them. They have a purpose. The purpose. Our names. He knows who we are. Yes. Every one of us, all the billions of people here on the earth. You better look and think about how awesome that is. Come on, we're doing good. If we can name 10 or 11 stars, we'll be doing good. And he knows how to communicate with me. He understands the language of each one. To me, that is awesome. That is powerful. Thank you, Abiyahu. He says, number 13, and the thunders according to the places where they hit, where they fall, and all the divisions are all made that are made among the lightnings, that it may lighten, and the host, that they may at once what obey obey keep on coming back how everything but obey yah folks obey yah no can't make it into the kingdom his kingdom with disobedience everything has law everything has order about it the man don't want to obey. Amen. People do not want to obey what Yah has told us to do. Whatever Yah tells me to do, I'm going to strive my best to obey it and do it. And there's one thing I got to say about Yah. If He tells us to do something, guess what? He makes it possible for us to obey. 
He gives us the means to obey whatever command, or whatever statute, or whatever law, whatever instruction he gives. He gives us the means to do it. Amen. You can't go back and say, yeah, well, I couldn't do it because I, uh, this and that, and this and that. You can't do it because you lack the trust, you lack the faith. He's going to give it to us. The means to what? To obey, to do. For the thunder has placed places a rest aside while it's waiting for its peal. And the thunder and lightning are inseparable. And although not one and undivided, they both go together through the Spirit and do not separate. In other words, they are inseparable. And they're two individuals. Amen. But they're not, but they're one. You see the lightning, you hear the thunder. When you hear the thunder, you know there's lightning somewhere. But when the lightning lightens, the thunder utters its voice. And the spirit enforces a pause during the peal and divides equally between them. For the treasury of their peal is like the same. And each one of them, as it peels, is held in with a bridle and turned back by the power of the Spirit and pushed forward according to the many quarters of the earth. And the Spirit of the sea is masculine and strong and according to the might of his strength, he draws his back with a rain. And in the same way, it is driven forward and dispersed and all the mountains, amid all the mountains of the earth. See? And when you say the rain and control, it's controlled by Yah. He has control. He tells you, see, you go so far, and you got to stop. Amen. Everything has to come, what? Under subjection to Yah. All these things have used wisdom. They have a fear of Yah. Yes. Because it's His power, His strength. They are alive. You say, You fool. You know, I believe the word. And the Spirit. Of the hoarfrost is his own messenger, and the spirit of the hell is a good messenger, and the spirit of the snow has forsaken his chambers on account of his strength. There's a special spirit therein, and that which ascends from it. Is like smoke, and his name is Frost. And the spirit of the mist is not united with them in their chambers, but it has a special chamber. For its course is magnificent, both in light and in darkness. And in winter and in summer. And in this chamber is a messenger. The messenger, somebody's gonna speak. Somebody's gonna speak it. It's gonna talk, it's gonna communicate. And the spirit of the dew has its dwelling at the end of the seven end. And it's connected with the chambers of the rain. And its course is in winter and summer, and its clouds 
and the clouds of the mist are connected, and the one gives to the other. And when the spirit of the rain goes forth from its chamber, the messenger comes and opens the chamber and leaves it out. And when it is diffused over the whole earth, it unites with the waters on the earth. And whenever it unites with the waters on the earth, for the waters are for those who dwell on the earth, for they are nourishment for the earth from the Most High who is in the Shemian. Therefore, there is a measure for the rain, and the messenger takes it in charge. And these I saw towards the garden of the righteous. And the messenger of peace, who was with me, said to me, These two monsters prepared comfortable to the greatness of Elohim and Sophia. We need to understand that all has purpose, all obey, all know who Yah is. We better know and understand who Yah is. Because if we don't, we're going to pay a heavy price. If we don't obey, there's a heavy price to pay. We want to walk in sin, we want to walk in wickedness, y'all are going to allow us to do it for a certain period of time. Then it'll cut you off. And once you get cut off, it's too late to repent. You shall enter that hell fire. Amen. So, I know we said something today that will help us make it to the kingdom. Oh yeah, you ready to turn this back over the hands of the pastor? Yes, yes you are. Come on up here. Amen. Try to escape, you can try to escape. I'm going to do it all the time. Amen. Let's give y'all a hand clap of praises. Hallelujah. Let's give another hand clap of praises. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give Chief Apostle Ghost a hand clap of praises. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Another hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank and I praise y'all for the word and for the man of God. Amen. For y'all speaking, amen, in this hour to us. Yes, thank amen. You. I give you the glory. I give him all the praises. Amen. I give y'all all the honor. Amen. Because I'm telling you, amen, the word of God comes. Amen. To show us and to deliver us. Amen. From ourselves and out of ourselves. Amen. To deliver us, amen, out of sin. Yes. Amen. And I thank and I praise y'all, amen, for the great opportunity, amen, that I have, amen, to hear the word, amen, and see myself. Yes. Amen. Yes. See that myself, amen, that yes. I don't want my soul to enter into that burning hell. Yes. And the Bible declared that the soul that we save, it, yes. it got to be our own. Yes. Can't save no one else. But we can live the life and we can tell them, amen, what thus says Yah. Yes, sir. Amen. That's all we can do. Yes. Amen. Live the life and tell the people the truth. Yes. Amen. Sign the alarm of sign doctrine. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not going any further. I thank and I praise Yah. Amen. For allowing us to, to be here today. Another amen. great opportunity yes, to be Lord. in the house of Yah. Yes. Amen. I thank and I praise Yah. Amen. This is the pure gospel of Jesus Christ, Macy, on the community. Amen. We like to thank each and every one of you. Amen. That is in here. Amen. That is out there. We thank and praise Yah for you. And we pray, amen, that Yah, amen, will strengthen you. Amen. And keep you that are holy, that He will keep you. Amen. And you that are not holy. We pray that, amen, Yah, amen will save you, amen, that you will accept him as your personal savior. Yes. That you, amen, will repent of your sins 
and turn from your evil and wicked ways, and get filled with the Rosh HaKadosh. Be baptized in the name of Yeshua. Amen. And be saved. Amen. We love you all enough to tell you, amen, the truth. Amen. Again, this is the pure gospel of Jesus Christ Messianic community. If you would like to write us, you may do so. You can write us, Pure Gospel of Jesus Christ Messianic Community, P.O. Box 824, on Monrovia, Alabama, the zip 36461. If you would like to attend service here, we are right here at 4935, Highway 84 of Frisco City, Alabama, the zip 36445. We hear amen if the Lord's will every Friday evening at the beginning, amen, of the Shabbat at 6 p.m. Also on Saturday, if the Lord's will, at 11 a.m. You are welcome to come, amen, and worship with us, amen. On any of these days, hallelujah, we would like to, amen, to encourage you, amen, to get into your word, amen, get into your word. Amen. Have Bible study in your home. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't wait till, amen, until you, amen, come to church to pick up your Bibles. Pick your Bible up at home and study the Word. How, if you have children or grandchildren, maybe mother and daughter, maybe father and son, maybe husband and wife. But in it, oh, hi, get your Word out. Get the Torah out. Get your Bible out. Amen. And start from the book of Rashid, which is Genesis, to Revelation. And study. Amen. Study. Family, get together and have some Bible time. Family, get together, amen, and have some prayer time. Repent. Hallelujah. Repent of your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody ought to get concerned about this soul. Amen. And we want to encourage you. Have some Bible study. In other words, have some church. In your house. In your house. Amen. You take time to run out the balls. You take time, amen, to go to the club. You take time to, to go to the gamble casino. You take time as a family to go out to dinner and eat. So take time to get in the Word of God together. Take time. Teach your little ones, amen, to, to pray before they eat the food. Before they eat, drink a soda or water. Teach them, teach them to pray over them. Before they eat the chips or whatever, teach them yeah. to bless their food. Yeah. Pray over everything before we eat. Make it a habit. Let it become a habit. Yeah. Hallelujah. We love you all. Amen. Enough to, to tell you the truth. If you would like a man to email Chief Apostle Ghost, you may email him. Jesus man at frontiernet.net. Again, if you'd like to email Chief Apostle Normie Gustin, his email address is Jesus man at frontiernet.net. If you'd like to email myself, Apostle Carrie Gustin, it's Jesuswoman at frontier.com. Again, if you'd like to email me, my email address is Jesuswoman at frontier.com. If you'd like to call us, you can call us at Erie Corps 251-593-3683 or 251-593-3671. However, you get in contact with us, we will get back in touch with you. And we pray, amen, that, amen, that you will be seeking the Lord concerning your soul. We also, amen, like to introduce you, amen, to the PGJCM, the Discount Caster Store, and the Green Barrel. Amen. If you want to know any more information about the Discount Caster Store and the Green Barrel, you can give us a call at Eric Corps 251 593 8336. Call and make yourself an appointment. Amen. And we will, amen, get back in touch with you. Give us a call. You'll be glad that you did. We love you all with the love of Yeshua. Your hand, Chief Apostle Long. No. Your hand, Mother Let Cleveland. Your hand, Mother Let Cleveland. Let's give her a hand up. Hallelujah.